Hi, I'm Hank with Reptile Tool Works. Hope you're doing fine today. I am here today with Kirsten Kellersberger, who is going to enter the world of tool making and metalworking today using the Bullseye Bucket Forge. Okay? The Bullseye Bucket Forge is the coolest little forge and small shop that fits back into a five gallon bucket when we're finished. She has graciously provided us with a corner of her garage today. We've got some stuff set up and I'm very excited about introducing to you with her the exciting world of tool making and building your own woodworking tools, building your own small blades and things like that. We have a metal bucket of water, we have our fire extinguisher here, we've got good light and we've got a wonderful day here in Kentucky to start this. We're working off of these two short saw horses, a bench, a sturdy table, a stump and a pinch will allow you to do this, but we are now ready to move into the fact that this is the way the bullseye bucket forge comes in a flat rate box. It has arrived. She's very excited about becoming a metal worker and making her first woodworking and metal tools today. So we've covered safety and we're getting ready to start. This is a ball peen hammer, okay, that we're going to be using today, a flat screwdriver that most people have, a C clamp, okay, and a pair of vice grips. We had to assume that most people will have those, and remember this is just the basic facts. You have your anvil shaped object, this is an 18 pound anvil. Okay, we have your forge kit, you have your fire brick, your regulator, your burner assembly, and your adapter. Over here, you have threaded fastener components, your burner and your tool steel stock. You have your tongs, and we have our clamp plate. The steelagami kits that we put together are designed to be assembled with no additional hardware. Okay, you fold the parts up correctly, assemble them together, and then use a hammer to fold the tabs over. If you accidentally fold the tab the wrong way and then fold it and bend it back over, you could damage the tab. So we want to make sure that we read the instructions and go through the process correctly and in the correct way so that we don't end up breaking off any of your tabs. Over here, you have a bag of material called Satanite, okay, that is a ceramic liner. When we line her forward, she will see she's wearing a dust mask, she's going to wear gloves when she's using and working with a Satanite. We also have the material here that lines the forge, and this is called kale wool. We're going to put it to the side, we're not going to mess with it or anything, because when we are working with it, we're going to be wearing gloves and a respirator, and we don't want to get any of those little fibers anywhere they don't go. We're going to go ahead, look at our instructions, set up, and mark at this particular point in time the areas in here that show us which portions of the plate get bent up and which portions of the plate get bent down. Okay, we have been through the booklet. She has laid out the parts accordingly. We mark them this way so make sure we bend them correctly the first time and I'm going to give you a brief demonstration on safely bending these and then I'm going to get out of your way.
two tabs, two tabs, one tab. Note, the tabs on the top face the back of the forge, which is identified this by is three good. tabs on each side. <laughs> What he does is he wiggles in just like this and then he slides up and down. If you want to put something longer than your forge through, this allows you to slide something back and forth. Now this also is a hole up here that you can slip a bolt into so it will hold the back door open a little bit. Your bail, your bail hole handles are in there and the rest of your parts look really great. Um, we're ready to install the burner mount at this point in time. Out. Yep, put them, put them in from the inside, and that way you can get to the nut on the outside. If you will run those three thumb screws into these three holes, that's your next step. Congratulations on putting your forge together. Look at this. You bent all the plates. You got your burner mount on. This is amazing. It looks so cool. Here, pick it up. Isn't that cool? Isn't that just great? That's your forge. You're the most, the most interesting looking little birdhouse I've ever seen. <laughs> We're now ready to load your refractory material into it, put your burner together, and you're not that far off being ready to put your Satan knot on and getting ready to move forward to fire. So good job. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Isn't that beautiful forge? Great. <laughs>